Hello everyone, this is Sandil at English with Sanjana. Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to help you with geography. Unit 1, Lesson 2, the Asian region. All grade 9 students will be benefited by this video. The aim of today's lesson is to examine distinct features on relief and drainage in the physical landscape of the Asian region. This is the second video in this series on the Asian region. If you haven't watched my previous video on the Asian region, you may watch it first. Then you are ready for this lesson. I already covered important information on the absolute location and the relative location of the Asian region and the uniqueness of Asia. This video has been designed to make you aware of relief and drainage in the physical landscape of Asia. Under relief, we will be looking at different mountain ranges located in the Asian region. Out of them, the Himalayan mountain range which is considered as the largest mountain range in the world and also several peaks located in the Himalayan mountain range including world's highest peak Mount Everest. Further, you will get an opportunity to learn about different plateaus located in the Asian region, including Tibet Plateau, which is located at the highest elevation in the world. Further, you will have a chance to understand Great Plains and Plains located near river valleys. Next, we will be moving on to drainage. A large number of large river systems scattered all over the Asian region. That is the most important peculiar characteristic in the Asian region. And you will have a chance to understand and learn about different major rivers located in Asia and their destinations, into which ocean they flow, whether they flow into the Arctic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean or the Indian Ocean. There are lots of pictures for you to understand each content easily. As usual, at the end of the lesson, there are some activities to test the level of your understanding. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to grasp a better understanding on relief and drainage in the physical landscape of Asia. Then join me in this lesson on the Asian region. If you are ready, let's get started. Physical Landscape in Asia Lesson 2 Under Physical Landscape in Asia, we will mainly focus on relief, drainage, climate, natural vegetation and wildlife. But in this video on the Asian region, we will only be looking at relief and drainage. First, let's take a look at the definition of relief. Relief is typically defined as the difference in height between the high point and the low point on a landscape in feet or in meters. Now we will be going over the most salient topographic features in the physical landscape of Asia. What is the most specific topographic feature in the Asian region? The mountain range of Himalaya. Next, I would like to draw your attention 
to special features of Himalayas. This mountain range spreads 2,500 kilometers and it stretches in a land area of 600-12,000 square kilometers. India seems to be separated from Asia due to the Himalayas. As a result, India is called a subcontinent. There are many peaks, including Everest, located on this mountain range, exceeding 7,000 meters in altitude. This is a picture of the mountain range of Himalaya. In this lesson, it is important to learn about different highest peaks located in the Himalaya mountain range. Look at this table here. In the first column, highest peaks in Himalayas. In the second column, height in meters. Everest? 8,848. Kanchenjunga? 8,586. Makalu? 8,462. Daulajiri? 8,167. Manaslu? 8,156. Nenga Perbert? 8,126. Anapurna? 8,091. Nenga Devi? 7,817. Besides Himalayas, what are the other large mountain ranges located in Asia? Altai Mountains, Kumlun Mountains, Karakoram, Tenshan, Gats, Ural Mountains, and Sargras. That's all for some large mountain ranges located in Asia. Apart from mountain ranges in the Asian physical landscape, we can notice a special landform called plateau. Here is a simple definition of a plateau. A plateau is a flat area located at a high elevation. As we all might know, there are various plateaus located in the Asian region. Out of them, we will be looking at some large plateaus located in Asia. They are Tibet Plateau, Pamir, Deccan, Central Siberian, and Iran Plateau. Here is some important information on Tibet Plateau. Which plateau is located at the highest elevation in the world? Tibet Plateau, which is located at 5000 meters of altitude and it is called rooftop of the world. Tibet Plateau is surrounded by three major mountain ranges. Himalayas, Karakoram, Pamir. That's all for plateaus in the Asian region. As the final content under relief, we will move on to learn about plain. A simple definition of a plain. A plain is a flat expanse of land that generally does not change much in elevation. Before we move on to learn about Plains. It's better to learn some major divisions of Asia. They are Central Asia, East Asia, South Asia, Southeast Asia, West Asia, North Asia. Out of them, North Asia is a large plain which is known as the Western Siberian Plain. Besides North Asia, there are other large plains located in Asia. Manchurian Plain and the Great Chinese Plain take a distinct place among them and also 
there are some important plains located near river valleys. I am going to give you some examples. First example, a plain located close to the river valley of Indus. Next, a plain located close to the river valley of Ganges. Last example, a plain located close to the river valley of Huangho. That's all for relief features in the physical landscape of Asia. Now, it's time to move on to drainage. Under drainage, we will be looking at a large number of river systems and how they are scattered all over the Asian region. We can have a general idea about how these rivers flow into different oceans and seas. Look at this map here. There are three major rivers located in Asia. They are Og River, Yenisei River and Lina River. These three rivers flow into the Arctic Ocean. Amur River, Yellow River or Huangho River and Yangtze River. They flow into the Pacific Ocean. Indus, Ganges, Brahmaputra, Irrawaddy, Salween and Mekong. These rivers are also located in Asia and they flow into the Indian Ocean. Tigris River and Euphrates River. These two rivers flow into the Persian Gulf. Serdarya and Amudarya. These rivers flow into the Aral Sea, which is known as an internal sea. Ural River. It flows into the Caspian Sea, which is also known as an internal sea. Look at these colorful relevant pictures under each river. They are really magnificent, large river systems. Ob River, Yenisei River, Lina River, Amur River, Huangho, Yenseng, Ganges or Ganga, Indus, Brahmaputra, Mekong, Irrawaddy, Salvi, Euphrates, Tigris, Serdarya, Amudarya. That's all for river systems. These river systems are very large and long. So it would be better to have a glance at comparing the length of the rivers in Asia with the length and the width of Sri Lanka. The length of Sri Lanka is measured from Point Pedro to Dondra Head. It is 432 kilometers. The width of Sri Lanka is measured from Kalambu to Sangaman Kanda Point. It is 224 kilometers. The length and the width of Sri Lanka is 432 kilometers and 224 kilometers respectively. Now we can compare the length and the width of Sri Lanka with the length of River Yangtze. It is 6301 kilometers. The length of Huangho is 5464 kilometers. The length of Mekong is 4,909 kilometers. The length of Lina River is 4,400 kilometers. The length of Yenisei is 4,088 kilometers. The length of River Ob is 3,600 
50 kilometers. The length of river Indus is 2,900 kilometers. The length of Brahmaputra is 2,897 kilometers. The length of Ganges is 2,510 kilometers. That's all for comparison of the length and the width of Sri Lanka with the length of major rivers in Asia. As the final content in today's lesson, we will be going over some several large lakes located in Asia. One of the largest lakes located in Asia is Lake Baikal. Lake Baikal is considered as the deepest lake with fresh water located in the world. Next, Lake Palkash. That's all for today's lesson. Let's move on to some activities. Question number one. Mention four major mountain ranges in the Asian continent. Now pause the video and write the answers. Altai, Kunlun, Karakoram, Tenshan. Question number two. Name five peaks with their height located on the Himalaya mountain range. Everest. The height is 8,848 meters. Kanchenjunga. The height is 8,586 meters. Makalu. The height is 8,462 meters. Daulaji. The height is 8,167 meters. Manaslu. The height is 8,156 meters. Question number three. Write down the largest rivers located in Asia and write the oceans or seas into which they flow. River Ob. It flows into the Arctic Ocean. River Amur. It flows into the Pacific Ocean. River Indus. It flows into the Indian Ocean. Euphrates and Tigris. They flow into the Persian Gulf. Serdaria and Amudaria. They flow into the Aral Sea. River Ural. It flows into the Caspian Sea. Question number four. Name two large plateaus in Asia. Tibet Plateau, Pamir Plateau. Question number five. Name one plain located in Asia. Manchurian Plain. Question number six. Name two lakes located in Asia. Lake Baikal, Lake Balkash. That's all for today's lesson on the physical landscape in Asia. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you find this video useful, subscribe to our channel. If you feel this video worth sharing, share it with your friends. If you have comments, block them in the comment section below. I'll talk to you there. I will see you in my next video.